Hello Stampers and welcome to Miss Fancy Stamps Card Making 101. I want to get stamping as fast as I can and show you a really simple project, but before I do that, you know me, there's a few things I have to do. I have to make sure I'm surrounded by all my favorite things, come into my room that is an escape from the whole world and I will de-stress and relax and enjoy myself. So I've got my candle melting in the background over here, it smells fantastic in here. I've also got my favorite cup of tea ready to go. What a treat. And what else do I have? Oh, don't forget my favorite pair of shoes. <laughs> I already put it on. <laughs> I'm putting on my one of my favorite pairs of shoes. If I didn't put it on today, it might sit in my closet for who knows how long. And if you know me, I'm done stashing my stuff away. I'm going to use everything and enjoy every minute that I can. There, got my shoes on, I'm ready to go. So now that we're all set, let's see what we can make. I wanna walk you through the basic steps of just making a very simple card. I will have a link below to my website where I will list all the materials that were used to make this card. Um, if you are interested in purchasing any of these products, you can also access that on my website www.missfancystamps.com. Again, the link will be below. But Card Making 101 is just going to take you through this very basic. So you're going to start with a sheet of 8.5 by 11 cardstock, and you're going to take that sheet of paper and you're simply going to cut right down the middle to turn that into two separate pieces of cardstock. Now you can make two cards from these. You're going to take one of these and simply fold it in half I like to use the bone folder because it creases it so nicely. So we fold that over and now you have a card that can be used in either orientation, this one or like this. I'm going to use it like this today. Now for stamping, I'm going to be using the stamp set from Stampin' Up, work of art, a very basic step and you can do so many things with this card. Later on I will show you some samples and you can visit that on my website as well some different things that I've made just exclusively using this set of stamps. I'm going to start with Daffodil Delight. And the wonderful thing about the design of these Stampin' Up! ink pads is if you take the three dots and press on that side, you'll open the stamp pad and flip it over and lock it into place. And now you have a great surface to ink your stamp. There's no lid to get in your way or anything like that. So I'm using the swoosh stamp and I'm going to ink it up. I like to dab, I guess there's, you know, people do it some different ways. I like to dab my stamp, get it nice and inked up. I love these clear stamps because you can see exactly where it is that you're stamping. And I'm going to press that down, make sure I get nice even pressure. Just doing that, I just love using stamps, making those stamped images just totally makes my day. Anyway, so that's the first step. Then I'm going to use Pacific Point ink. Again, just simply open this ink pad and slide it into place. And what I've done, the, one of the reasons I love these clear stamps is I've taken two of the stamps, Just For and You, and mounted them both on one block so that I can just do it as a single step stamping. If you're going to make multiple cards, this is very, very helpful. And I'm going to take this and just Place that on my card as well. I am using the stamp scrubber, and I'll have the link for that with the materials, to clean my stamps. One side is wet, the other side is dry, and so you rub it on the wet side, wipe it off on the dry side, and your stamps are good to go. Best thing is just to keep your stamps clean like that, and then you never have to worry about having a messy stamp to use. The last color that I'm going to use is Melon Mambo. And again, opening the stamp ink pad and I'm just using the little heart. This little heart stamp from the Work of Art stamp set has a little bit of a, I suppose you'd say a distressed look. It has a little, you know, it's not completely solid and I love that. So while this is just kind of a cute image by itself, I just like to add that little heart shape onto there. And really, that's my basic card. Just very, very simple. Now, in order to take this up just one step, what you can do is take this 
and do some layering. And I think it adds amazing uh, detail to the card. The nice thing about Stampin' Up! products is the paper and the inks and everything are already matched for you. So if I used Daffodil Delight, I can pick that cardstock and that will match just perfectly. So what I did with this was I, I have a pre-stamped piece of this cardstock with the images on it. And I simply trimmed off a fourth of an inch on one side and a fourth of an inch on another side and just have that piece of cardstock like so. Which allows me then to take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of the Daffodil Delight cardstock, cut it in half, fold it with the bone folder, and then mount this onto that cardstock. It just gives it that little border. So I'm going to use a little adhesive. Now I am just starting out. If you haven't watched my introduction video, you can do that. But you'll notice that I don't have all Stampin' Up! products yet. Uh, my goal, of course, is to do that, but I have to kind of you know, get it one step at a time here. So I'm going to mount that onto my cardstock, and there you have just an adorable card. So simple, so quick. One stamp set, three ink pads, and two pieces of paper, and you have yourself a wonderful card to give to somebody. Mm -hmm.